Legend of Total War here with part 21 of my Medieval 2 Let's Play campaign as the um, Holy Roman Empire. Uh, previously we defeated all the defeatable factions that were left, so Egypt I think was all that was left. And we've got 106 settlements. So basically all that's left to do now is really just tidy up and wait for the, the Mongols to arrive, which they'll arrive shortly in, a, in about 10 turns, I think. 10, 10 or 20 turns. But before that, I'd like to get rid of these guys. I'll maybe do that next turn. Just waiting for a few more extra recruits. Uh, we can get rid of you. Okay. Also, I should be uh, going around to each city and just seeing what units I basically no longer need and disbanding them. Things that are, you know, costing up upkeep costs. Uh, can't get rid of generals, obviously. In castles, I think. I don't know, we'll see. Let me just see here, sounds a bit quiet. That should do it. Okay, so let's see. Um, basically just gonna go through all the build orders and shit. Uh, yep, just whatever. It'll It's gonna take forever for it to grow. A lot of these settlements aren't really gonna be under any threat at all from the Mongols, because the Mongols, you know, they might take a region or two, because I'm not exactly 100% prepared. And, um, then what? They'll burn themselves out fighting me. They're not going to last that long. Not when I've got this much resource hanging behind me. You know, a lot of people would often ask, with the, in regard to the Blitz campaigns, what about the Mongols? What about the Timurids? What about the Aztecs? Well, after you've taken 106 territories, you kind of don't need to worry about them because they can't do much. I mean, yes, you might lose a few battles, but the thing is, losing battles doesn't really mean anything. If, if you're super powerful. Unless you're an idiot. Uh, you just keep being aggressive, keep throwing money at troops, and you just keep throwing it at them, and then they'll die. A campaign that I've, I used to play when I was younger, I would often conquer the whole world and then give it the everything except for one faction to... except for one city to a faction, and then try and retake everything off them. And I would be able to do it. Just because the AI is not very smart. I don't think you'd be able to do it in the later Total Wars. So, let's see here. Looks like we're going to be able to build everything that we need soon. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's still a little while off. Yeah, if we can build something in every single settlement, that would be great. As in, simultaneously. Okay, so if we have a look here, where... Okay, we're getting 60,000 forwards a turn. I'm just going to try, try and be as efficient as possible. I'm just going to go through all the, the cities. And have a look for units that we perhaps don't really need to... To keep. Actually, it would be easier if I did things this way. Hang on. What's your upkeep? No. Uh, yeah, we can keep that. It's fine. Cheaper than peasants. Basically, we're looking for minimal garrison type stuff. Type stuff. So we're going to make a difference. Okay, here's a big garrison. What we don't need. City's under control. That's great. Hang on. Just try and cut costs wherever we can. Yeah, as long as it's one unit inside of a city, that should be fine. Gaza, yeah, we can get rid of this. I'll 
obviously just trying to save a bit of cash. So we can reinvest in all these territories much faster. Okay, here's somewhere where I forgot. Let's see. Let's just uh, leave that behind. Ah, crap. Baskets. Oh, hang on. There we go, it's fine. You don't need two there. Oh, uh, yes, we do need these. Just temporarily. I don't need you anymore. It'd be good inside of a fort, but I wouldn't worry about it. Just trying to save as much money as we can. While we go through this period of peace, waiting for the Mongols to show up. Alright, that should do it. So, we just saved ourselves 6,000 a turn. And you might not think, oh yeah, that's, that wasn't that much. But add that over 10 turns, that's 60,000. We compound that with interest and everything, because, you, you know, you spend that 6,000 on a port somewhere, that port's going to start making money soon. So, we don't need any more generals. Merchant Guild is fine. Another Pope. They just automatically assign it now. So, now our projected profits have gone down for some reason. I don't know why that is. Might have something to do with low public order. I don't know. Ah, uh, I see. It's because we had to recruit all those additional units. Over here, this is where a lot of my expenses are going. Because don't forget, these, these troops here are expensive. Okay, let's see what we can do here. So, we've got a... You know, something of a stack. Actually, that's pretty much a full stack. Alright, well, we'll sandwich this guy here. Alright. Let's get rid of these fucking rebels, costing me a hundred a turn. <laughs> whatever. Start to heal the lands. This is the remnants of England. This really shouldn't be a problem. As long as my general doesn't die, we should be fine. Just basically go in there and just, just absolutely smash these guys. That's all we gotta do. So keep that guy at the rear. Yep, that's fine. Okay, reinforcements coming from right over here. No, hang on, over here. So they're gonna get themselves sandwiched between two lots of cavalry forces. Plus we've got an additional cavalry force, uh, additional cavalry unit still waiting in reserve. But essentially after this we just disband it anyway. It's just to get rid of the remnants of England. Because they're causing devastation. Go. And they're completely sandwiched. Yeah, whole sandwich, you motherfuckers. Don't even need to properly charge, it's just gonna squash him. Like a bug. Bit of dread would have been nice, but you can see mass rats happening. And we've lost 3%. Well, we'll probably lose that. No, no, whatever. Don't let them escape, capture them all. Oh shit, the, the one guy that we don't want to have fight is losing a lot of men. Pull back, how are we going? Lost 10%? It's alright. Squash him. Okay, that's that section dealt with. Now for the next one. Now remember, because this is rebels, we don't have to uh, capture them all. Of course, it would be good if we did. Uh, you stay out of this. Fatigue's still good. Alright, just... It doesn't really matter if we don't do fantastically well. Just get in there and smash. You'll be fine. 
But that's okay, that doesn't care for anything. Then just put heaps of pressure on them and squash them like bugs. Well, Spearman, as if that's a concern. What are these? Spear militia, what are you doing? Uh huh. It doesn't matter if we lose a lot of men. Because I'm just disbanding them straight away afterwards anyway. Eh, whatever. That'll save us a bit of money over time. Ah, uh, shit. Sure. I guess you can command England. Or well, govern England, I mean. Govern London. Whatever. You can stay here at Nottingham for this turn, though. And we no longer need them. But we don't need two of those. Okay. Upkeep costs gone way down. Uh, hang up. We do not require any more troops. Same with this. There we go. There's our money. Okay. Back to building. So... Nuremberg. It's growing at a reasonable rate. Keep it going. Another one of those settlements, whatever. Just get on with it. it should grow fairly soon. Same with that. Let's see if this turn we can have something building in every settlement. Obviously, we can't do anything about this one. We'll just have to wait. A chivalrous general would be great, but I can't be bothered trying to find one to put in there. Uh, Paris, going to be a large city, eventually, uh, a huge city, eventually. Stockholm, yep. Uh, that, no, that's useless for that city. Uh, nope, don't need that. Grab that instead. Try and get to Citadel. Citadels are much harder for the Mongols to take. Not that the Mongols will get that far. You never know, I could royally fuck up. Uh, let's see here. Antioch. I'd say dirt roads would be great for that, and then subsequently uh, paved roads. See, after a short period of war, now the world is at peace, and now prosperity to all. Blech, disgusting. Jerusalem, yep, grow this piece of shit town. Hang on, grow that. It's going to build, uh, provide a lot more money, which will improve pub, uh, population growth. Okay, yep, drop that down. Oh, I don't think we're going to quite have enough money. Ah, oh, so close. Just didn't quite have enough to get that last little region. What's this here? Explorer's Guild? No, we'll leave that there. Okay, so next turn, looks like we're going to get a bit of money coming in. 70,000. So that should be enough to build in every settlement. The thing is, if the Mongols manage to take one settlement, fucking crusade time. Uh, no, we don't need any more generals. Thank you. It said 74,000, but we didn't get that much. I wonder why. Might be due to emergence of new rebels. Uh, I guess we're not going to need you anymore after that. Actually, that should probably come first. A few settlements ready to upgrade. Okay, let's see if this money can go all the way this time. Not really much to comment on, it's just building shit. 
Ah, no, fuck off. Uh huh. Okay, Thessalonica. Uh, mines? Yeah, go for it. Could use a little bit of extra income. I don't think there's gold there, but I, I don't know. I can't be stuffed to check. Yep, a port would be good there. Get global trade going on. Leon, alright. Um, probably more important to have growth in this region more than mining, but I will go for mining, just get it out of the way. Uh, hang on, that's useful. Now, Lisbon, there's plenty of other things more useful than that. Let's, let's grab this. Help reduce corruption, lots of public order, population growth, it's all good. Okay, Cordoba becomes a huge city. We don't need monthly races, uh, races anymore, so that saves us 400 florins right there. Of course, it could jack up the taxes, but we want these settlements to grow. See, shitload of growth going everywhere. Antioch, good, that's really going to help that. If we have, a, if I just come back up, if I go to Antioch, actually something's going on here where it's actually reducing their income. Uh, whatever. There could be rebels in the way. Let's have a look. No, I don't know what's going on. Uh, who cares? Actually, we don't need two explorers. Go get rid of that. No, it didn't quite have enough. I guess we have to spend more on this turn. Hang on, we got problems in Baghdad. Gotta fix that up. So what's going on here? Oh, having some garrison units will be uh, free to upkeep, so that's good. Better to get that instead. Okay, public order. Okay, worst one is Yerevan, which should be fine. Yeah. What do the Papal States want? Just can't you go away. There's nothing left to do, bitch. No. Sure. Okay, so our income coming in, about 68,000 a turn at the moment. Okay, well, let's just keep building stuff. I build the merchant bank, but it doesn't provide any actual public order benefits. What does it go for, for uh, trade? You know, it increases it by more than 100, but since it's not incre increasing public order, uh, population growth, Go for pop, uh, population growth first, and then worry about that later. Because obviously the uh, the trade is affected by population, so you want nice big amounts of of men there, for people. Also, if if, if, uh, if you ever need to sack the settlement, lots of people is good to sack. Kill a shitload of them. Make a fuckload of money. That'll be growing soon. Genoa, good. Get that going. Garbage. Durazzo is slowly getting there. That's it. Grow in these settlements. Bruges, yep. Get that going. London, yep, that'll be good for it. More trade routes. Dublin needs to be a trade with someone. I don't like how in later Total Wars you can't, there's no eternal trading. Cities don't trade with each other, it's just faction to faction. It seems lazy. Uh, Constantinople, we build. Hang on, let me check something. Look at the trade here. Yeah, see exports is one, even though this says it's two fleets, that's the one that actually gives an additional fleet, not that. Right, that's why Antioch... Oh, I don't know. Shit, where was I? Constantinople. Oh uh, no, not that, not just yet. K 
keep these things building. Yeah, like I did say, I'm sure some of you are getting a bit bored if you're still watching this, but <laughs> what can you do? Everyone else is dead, and I'm sure you want me to go kill the Mongols and the Aztecs and the Timurids. We just gotta wait for them to show up. I'm not just gonna mindly press end turn until they show up either. Gotta get this stuff done as well. I know, I kind of like watching my income grow. Baghdad. Yep, need that. Okay, Yerevan still has problems. That'll actually solve it, but... Some extra garrison should be free upkeep. Okay, income. Okay, so we didn't actually spend all the money that we needed to, so we're actually saving some up. Which means we could justify the purchases of uh, more expensive buildings. Eventually. I didn't get that much. didn't get as much as what it said. Hang on. In Krakow, do we already have one there? We've already got the... Okay, yep. So you can have that. So money-wise, still got roughly the same amount coming in each turn. Probably because there's lots of rebels and shit around now. They just keep coming. I go and stand on these spots here. It's very fucking frustrating. You know the fucking pikeman. See if we can get rid of that next turn. <coughs> Excuse me. Hang on, there's a guy here. I want him to come to London. Grow that city instead. Okay, once again, back to building. Actually, go with farming. Getting there, but still a while to go. Good, they'll jack up the taxes. Oh, not ta the taxes. They'll jack up the income by a lot. Whatever. We've got Granada. Yep, that's fine. Oh shit. This place here has got hardly any population. This wasn't one of those settlements I exterminated, was it? It's going to require some fast population growth if we want to get it to a huge city by any point in time, which we probably won't. It's too small. Yep, Alexandria still needs public order. Focus on that where needed. Most of the world should be Catholic now. Cairo's now got problems again. It just seems to pop up every now and again. So what's going on here? What do we what do we need? So obviously there's a huge amount of population. What can we build here to fix up I'm just gonna go with that. And then build this. Because that does provide extra happiness. Master Thieves Guild, yeah, keep that. Yeah, Jedi, whatever. Mosul. Yep. And good, another turn in which we didn't spend all of our money. We, that we couldn't spend it all. Baghdad's the only one with a problem. Yeah, just improve. Actually, no, no need. That'll fix it up. How's it going here with Chris uh, Catholicism? What's going on here? There must be a heretic or something. Or did we only just... I must have only just built that. There we go. I haven't had it for very long. We're going to need a priest. And this. Moving on. Uh, no thank you. Headquarters in Krakow. Sounds good. Income's jacked up by a lot. Some of the buildings that I've been organizing have, uh, must have been built. That's all just going to start compounding. Still no, no, um, no sound of the, uh, the Mongols. Maybe it's turn 76 if they show up, not turn 66. I can't remember. It's been such a long time since I fought them in this campaign. Uh, 
actually, Stockholm. I think there's some silver there that you can go and grab. Nope, that's useless. Good. Good. Dublin. Yep, I know there's some silver in Dublin. Naples. Let's see. I'm going to go with that. Lots of the stuff here should be increasing our income by a lot. Good. Uh, let's see here. Jerusalem. We've had issues with Jerusalem in the past and it's also growing very quickly so we need to make sure its public order is stable. So we may want to might want to purchase the church tra uh, chain up. Now then again, yeah, yeah, do that. It provides public health and all that kind of shit. We haven't heard shit out of a plague in this. I don't think I've had a single turn of plague. Actually, cycle grab that. Ten buck two is looking all right. Grow to minor city soon. The Dessa looking good. Baghdad, yep, grab public order. So that we can jack we can put down these um monthly races as soon as possible. Still at the moment we're we're paying out forty thousand in corruption. But that's, that's okay. It makes no difference. I mean we've got plenty of money now. Alright, we may want to start also buffing up these garrison the garrison of these cities. Oh shit, because the uh, the Mongols might show up here. Shit, indeed. How are we going to triple the uh, population here by the time the Mongols arrive? We're going to want lots of spearmen. Alright, look, you're going to need to get started on that right away. Because they'll show up soon. Mark my fucking words, they're going to show up soon. I would have preferred it if this could be a fortress. Oh well. Part of me kind of hopes they'll show up near Baghdad because we're more prepared down there. Uh, no. Nope. Merchant's Guild or nothing, bitch. Okay, now we've got first time so far in this campaign we've had more than 100,000, I think. Good, Vienna, growing it up. It's much easier for mainland Europe stuff to grow because they all border so many settlements, so that's... Lots of road and trade routes and all this kind of stuff. Trade makes such a huge amount of money and growth. No, 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 we don't need that in Milan. Not yet. Durazzo is growing, but it's taken a while. Oh boy, alright. I know I could probably set it to auto-manage, but I just... What's the point in auto-managing something? This game is just such a vibrant construction system. Why would you want to just let the AI do it? I know it's not the most interesting thing to do, but... I, I think it's important. Uh, Kiev, yep, build that. Good, yep. Grow London as much as possible, that'll be... See, it's making quite a bit of income. We could probably double that by the time it gets to a huge city, though. Good, grow Bucharest. Hang on, get that instead. Good, Constantinople's making a shitload of cash. Look at that, 3,290. That's... That can pay for a whole army just by itself. Well, a whole army of crap, but uh, whatever. Or half a stack of good stuff. Oh, well, if you can get every city to be producing that much money, you could have 50 armies and still have some money left over. 
But given that castles rarely have incomes over a thousand, that's unlikely. You don't need that kind of armies anyway, it's too much. Oh, hang on, I haven't built that yet. Good, and we've still got 30,000 left over. Okay, we don't have quite as much money this turn though, coming in. Moving on. No, we don't need any more of that shit. Okay, so... What's this? Oh, who cares? Uh, let's see here. This region... Oh, I was going to build up more um, of this. That stuff there, that one there, they can wait. Because the thing is, you can build the required um, garrison quarters, but then you've got to wait for the pool to replenish as well. You can't just start recruiting mass armoured sergeants, for example, which would be great against the Mongols. But I haven't heard a peep out of, you know, I haven't heard that, you know, they're coming on a storm in the east or anything like that, because it's now 1200. Let's just see, another 10 turns would be 1220. Don't they show up around 12.50? I don't know. Uh, no. Let's see here. Anything that increases happiness and public order? Population growth? That needs to be prioritized in the Western Territories. The sooner we can get them to huge city, the better. We'll have everything under control thanks to not being excommunicated and Jerusalem. Uh, yep, yeah, whatever. Novgorod's looking a bit poor with its public order. Maybe you just fast track this. That's it. Uh, no, go with population growth. Rome will be a huge city before too long, that's great. It's already making a pretty decent income. And it should only increase. Rome is the capital, isn't it? That's right. If we're going to call ourselves the Holy Roman Empire, then Rome should be the capital. Alright then, so, still, we spent pretty much all the money we made that turn, but that's okay. That reminds me actually. Just over here, let's just see, how much damage is this doing to us? So it's making 926. Now let's get rid of it. Jesus Christ. They were costing us 400 a fucking turn. Asshole fucking pikeman. Are there any others like that that are standing on good quality trade? That guy there is just causing problems. He's not actually not cutting off trade. Just having a look. You see, there could be someone in there, but we wouldn't know. Can't be fucked to try and find out either. Yeah, that guy's cutting off stuff. So, same with you. You're not. You gotta stand on the actual road. That guy's cutting off trade. I look to you. This probably won't win, but let's just see. Oh, they won't. Uh, sure, I would like to get you so you can help grow Novgorod. Ah, oh, shit. And then just, I don't know, just disband them, I guess. And then you make your way back here next turn. That didn't seem to increase or decrease. Hang on, what if I went like this? Didn't make a difference to the income, despite getting that guy off the trade route. Okay, moving on. Uh, 
No, don't need you. Thieves Guild Headquarters sounds good. We've already got the Master's Guild there. That'll help if we ever need to produce lots of supplies. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we've got public order problems here. Which should be solved as soon as we recruit this stuff. Okay, so we're making currently 80,000 a turn, apparently. It says that, but it usually is a little bit less. But that's fine. 80,000's heaps. Let's keep looking for stuff to build. Grow these settlements up as much as we can. She's haven't even built a church there yet. That's okay, the public, uh, population is under control, so who cares. Okay, Bucharest, yep, need a port there. Yep, that's good for York. Large city, good, everything's growing. I'm itching for a fight, though. Mongol, fucking hurry up. Maybe I should hurry up with this shit. Florence, yep. Increase my income so I can afford huge armies to go up against the Mongols. Essentially, 80,000 should be able to produce, I don't know, something like 30 stacks. Which is more than what we'll need. I don't know, give me half a dozen stacks and I'll take out the Mongols. I'm talking good stacks though, not shit. Okay, Corinth is uh, sorry, Cairo is a huge city. Daily games. We need to fix up the public order here. Something's going wrong. Because what happens when this guy dies? As if it's not even making much money, the city. Yeah, it's still making some money. Okay, so if we go to the mayor's palace, that will of course reduce corruption costs and also provide us with five law. Five health. It's better than nothing. How long until the squalor... I think that goes to 80% and then that sort of capped there. There's also very little Christianity here, so that's probably what we should be doing. Okay, Timbuktu. Fuck you. Get rid of you. That'll save an upkeep costs. On a settlement that will basically never ever see war again. Good, growing Jeddah. Okay, Baghdad, we can grow this to... Uh, how are we going here with religion? Doesn't seem to be growing very fast. Probably need a few more priests. Uh, yeah, let's convert that to large city. Okay, Yerevan. Go ahead with that. Okay then, moving on to the next turn again. Don't need that. Still making 80,000 a turn. No big deal. Okay, keep on going. The Mongols should arrive soon. Let's see here, what do we need? We've got Bologna going. Uh, yeah, probably need some roads. Hamburg, yep, yeah, whatever. Actually, no, Zagreb's got gold. Go for that. Okay, little settlements starting to get to their max level, get to Citadel or Huge City. Actually, I don't think I've got any at Citadel yet. But they're getting close to it. Yeah, I missed this one. What's going on? Uh, did we just skip a whole bunch of shit? Can't have that. 
Oh, here we go. We do have a citadel. Palomar. Nicosia. Uh, let's see. Yep, go with that. Caesarea is almost at um, citadel state. And the good thing is, once once they've been upgraded, even if they get exterminated, it never goes below a huge city again. Okay, now I just want to double check on this. What are we building here? Okay, no. What we need are armored sergeants. Get that first. Because at least here, while this is going on, we're replenishing the pool. So it goes up to a max of four. So that's good. This goes up to six for uh, 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 for regular sergeants and for armored sergeants to four. Okay, moving on to the next turn. Yep, making a bit of cash. We can probably start buffing up the garrison soon. I didn't want to do it until money was under control. Still no word from the Mongols. 88,000, so obviously some investments are coming through. It's now 12.06. Nuremberg, uh, just population. Bologna, population. Uh, yeah, because that that actually will increase the population growth. Well, it should. All the cities it can trade with, being in Italy. Keep it going. No, that's crap. I don't care about slightly increased armor. Big deal. It always kind of shits me when I see players in hot seats. Like, the first thing they go for is, like, the leather tanner. I just think, what the fuck are you doing? Do you know how pointless that is? Like, sure, get it. On, like, turn 80. You don't need it before then. Well, more like there's other priorities. So, cool, we get one extra armor. It doesn't make any difference when you're peasants that have armored up route. Maybe you should focus on getting better troops to begin with and actually have better morale. Too much emphasis on worrying about stats. Useless shit like that. Like, attack and defense. Not important. Tactics are more important. Ah, uh, but if I give away all my secrets, then everyone will become great at uh, hot seats. We can't have that. Someone might actually beat me one day. That uh, could be a good thing. Okay, yep. Bulga, yeah, 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 yeah. Cairo, let's see here. Still public order issues. Huge city. It can afford one extra garrison, but it's not really going to make a big difference. Trebizond, yep. Keep that money coming. Timbuktu, good. Jeddah, good. Edessa. Yeah. Arguin. Blah, blah, blah. We've only had one battle this whole video. One manually resolved battle. But oh well. This stuff's important. Get it out of the way. Then we can be rich to take out the Mongols. Have some really epic fights. Uh, Yerevan. Yep. All done. Moving on to the next turn. Actually. Yeah. I think the difference between armored sergeants and sergeant spearmen is just armor rating. Well, they have the same upkeep. Okay, what's this? A new threat. Here we go. Okay, so we've got probably about five turns until the Mongols arrive. Now, once the Mongols arrive, we've got probably about two or three turns until they actually make an attack. So now it's time to buff up the garrison. Wait, wait. It didn't say where it was going to show up. Well, I didn't read where it was going to show up. Well, we'll just bu buff up on everywhere where they usually might show. Uh, shit. We need, we need that. Granada. Well, uh, that's no big deal. What's this? Yeah, Master Merchant's Guild, that's great. Okay, another place that could come under threat is Baghdad. You'll want to buff it up as much as possible, okay. So yeah, the difference between Armored Sergeants and Sergeants is just... Yeah, they just have a lot more armor. 
same upkeep. They do, do cost more though, but that's fine. Uh, yep. To be honest, I kind of like it letting a Mongol, letting the Mongols take a city and then going back to that city because they've got so much cavalry and just sending everyone in to go kill them because they can't run away. It's fighting them. You never want to fight the Mongols on the field unless you've got cavalry superiority. The problem is what they do is they walk around all together and of course they're all AI controlled but you can only control one army yourself and I hate having, you know, if you're going to bring like five stacks you're going to have to put four of them on AI control and I hate doing that. I prefer to just fight with one stack. Reminds me of the peasant campaign when I was up against the Mongols. Bloody, I think there was one time I brought eight stacks, so I completely surrounded a Mongol army. Eight stacks of peasants, and these were experienced peasants at all, against uh, as well, against a full stack of Mongols, and we only just managed to beat them. Something like 30,000 versus 1,500. My army got beaten basically right away, so I was just end up watching the whole time the Mongols fight the AI armies, because we had to come get them come in all at the same time. I couldn't be, you know, we had to completely surround them so they couldn't just shoot us. Man, that that campaign was fucked. It took me forever to get rid of the Mongols. Just had to keep stopping them from taking settlements, because then they just bloody produce more because they don't pay upkeep. I couldn't build siege equipment or anything. I mean, like, like artillery. I could build, you know, ladders. If I besieged a settlement with just one stack, they sallied out and g crushed us. Anyway, that was years ago now. I really need to finish up those videos. Don't worry, the content's still on my hard drive. It's still there. Same with the Shogun 2 campaign and the Empire Blitz. Part of me actually wanted to do the Empire Blitz again, but obviously record the love and, uh, commentary live. But then I realized it's Empire Total War, and I can't be fucked. Plus, nobody's ever bothered to try and beat the, the Blitz record, so unless somebody does that, I'm not bothering. I reckon I could do it faster than eight turns anyway. Which is what I did originally, the uh, Empire Blitz. Okay, moving on to the next turn. Uh, decline, don't need you. Sure. Mongols will be arriving soon. Maybe they show up 1220 AD. Which isn't that like the year... Yeah, Genghis Khan would have been fairly old by then. Yeah, okay. I guess. Yeah, because in Stainless Steel 1220 is when the late campaign starts. And Genghis Khan's in command of them. So yeah, they show up 1220, which is... Five turns away. Okay, that gives me... At least I know when they're going to show up now. Roughly. Possibly, I don't know. Just guessing. What's going on at Antwerp? Why is the public order so bad? Okay. There must be a heretic here. There is. Um... Ah, fucking asshole. I mean, I could build that, or I can't be stuffed to build a. Uh, yeah, I'll just build a priest. Build a priest. I mean, train a priest. Ah, fuck the priests. Keep on going. I don't think we're going to be seeing the Mongols in this episode, because I think we're approaching an hour. Which means I'll be ending the video soon. Uh, just building whatever. Constantinople growing 30,000 people. The, the, the actual income's gone down. Could be just because it's trading with something different. Maybe some of the trading partners aren't quite as rich. Maybe that has something to do with it. Oh wait, you, you've been there the whole time, you fuck. I don't know. How corrupt is this? 
So there's actually a, f there's a decent amount of corruption. Increasing the population might be a good idea. So that's Mayor's Palace. That'll... Yeah, whatever. That will reduce corruption a little bit. Antioch as well. Go for that. Is there stuff that I missed? Yep. Went through the list too quickly. Vilnius. Yep, just build all of this shit so it doesn't bother me again for a few turns. Same with Timbuktu. Jeddah. Uh, a port is not really that useful in Jeddah. Yerevan has public order issues, but that'll fix it. Uh, we need to buff up its garrison, though, just in case the Mongols show up here. Okay, we should probably do that to Sarkal as well. Oh, shit, I haven't really been focusing too much on Sarkal. Bulgar, yeah, whatever. Just everything that we can muster. Uh, don't forget about this area. Uh, these guys are really not that helpful against Mongols, so I probably won't purchase any of them unless I'm absolutely desperate. Those guys will be alright. Keep this going. Need as many of those troops as we can. If they attack a city, it's very hard to defend a huge city against the Mongols because they just swarm straight in. We need professional militia, which we don't have access to yet. Anyway, moving on. Piss off. Merchant's Guild, yep, whatever. Okay, the heat. Oh, shit, I was wrong. It is easy Not five to turns, become two. comfortable with the enemy you know, our familiar foes. But to discount the menaces that lurk beyond the known world is to risk a rude awakening that can become a nightmare. This nightmare is the Mongol invasion. Okay, they've arrived near Baghdad. So they're down here somewhere. The ass monkeys. Right. What's this? Oh, I forgot to do that? Well, I don't care. I can just bribe the Pope. So I guess the Mongols are going to show this turn. But I'm not going to go any further with this episode. So that's the end of this episode. Um, Yeah, I'll, I'll have come up with a plan and sort something out for next turn. I'm actually glad that they showed up here. I'll be able to produce a lot more troops out here than I will up here. Anyway, guys, that's the end of this episode. So like and subscribe. Part 22 is next, where things will be more interesting, I imagine. And uh, don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.